And check out the view from the CTV Skywatch camera looking north on 13th Street North. We've got, you know, half and half, a little bit of cloud, a little bit of sun, calling it mostly cloudy, but we've got some sunshine out there too. 17 degrees is where we're at. Our high was 18. We got there at 2 p.m. this afternoon, and our low was 8 degrees, and we got there at 5 a.m. this morning. So our barometric pressure is falling. Our humidity level is still low, but as we get closer to the weekend, that is going to be rising. I know. 17 degrees in a variety of areas, some even not showing up on the map here that are hitting 17 degrees right now. You folks in Medicine Hat, still very mild, 22 degrees. And to the west of the Continental Divide, you saw that cooler air mass. Reason being, this cold low is making its way onto the coast, but we're already seeing some advanced bands of clouds. And we talked about this yesterday, that we, we, we would be seeing these bands of cloud moving across, then seeing a little bit of a break in between, then another band of cloud moving across. And that certainly has been the pattern overnight tonight and during the day today and of course the winds attached with that movement as well you get calming in between and then another band moves through and the winds kick up so that's been the pattern very unorganized on this side of the continental divide you can see little patches of cloud cover some precipitation associated with those further north into the high level area expecting some thunder shower activity tonight because of a cooler air mass mixing with some warm air but here in the south you can see forecasts are indicating just those broken pockets of cloud cover making them their way from the west to the east and that's going to be the pattern as we get into tomorrow as well here in the south we'll still have a good mixture of sun and cloud and then as the day progresses later in the day we'll see another band of cloud moving in there'll be some isolated showers in through uh, southeastern bc and in through the columbia area probably tomorrow afternoon but here in southern alberta uh, just that small chance of a late day shower 12 degrees in st john's right now a big pressure center is moving up the coast and it's actually hitting st john's giving showers there but it's also clipping Charlottetown in the Maritimes, causing some showers there. Other than that, pretty quiet through the Maritimes. Then you've got cloud cover, big low pressure center moving across Ontario, and it's mostly cloudy from Thunder Bay East. Then you've got 18 degrees in Winnipeg, 22 in Regina, 22 in Saskatoon, 19 in the capital, 17 in Kelowna, a sun and cloud mix in Vancouver, and the same for Whitehorse and Yellowknife. Both of those areas today saw a sun and cloud mix, and not too bad temperature-wise, 9 degrees in both areas. East Kootenai, you're looking at Partly cloudy skies tonight, 4 degrees for a low. Tomorrow, partly cloudy as well, 19 degrees for a daytime high. For the Crow's Nest Pass, mainly clear tonight after midnight, 4 degrees for a low. And then tomorrow, you've got sun and cloud mixed with that uh, small chance of an evening shower. Medicine Hat looking at a chance of showers tonight, 8 degrees for a low. And then a sun and cloud mix tomorrow, beautiful 24 degrees for you folks in the hat. Here in Lethbridge, partly cloudy tonight, small chance of a shower, 7 degrees for a low. And then tomorrow, we got a sun and cloud mix and another chance of a late day shower tomorrow but temperature wise doing pretty good until we hit Saturday <laughs> and then we've got 11 degrees for a daytime high that looks like the day that is going to have the most precipitation attached to it so if you have plans don't cancel them because Sunday and Monday yeah a little on the cloudy sky but uh, or cloudy sky side but less chance of a precipitation you'll still have that risk of shower activity but certainly Saturday is the day with the most precipitation attached to it. Now, if you're out walking your uh, your cat or dog or, you know, just uh, just taking uh, in some of the, the weekend conditions, you want to make sure that you're careful when you're walking them. The pads of the feet are usually very, very tough, but that doesn't mean they're impervious to having things stuck in them. So they can get a piece of glass or a piece of metal stuck in there. Check your pet's paws regularly. An infection of the paw is very difficult to heal because, of course, they want to stand on it. So routine checking is key. And that's our focus on safety message for this this week have a good week have a good week have a good evening everyone i'll talk to you tomorrow <laughs>
went down from 87% to 5 She also had reconstructive breast implants. The whole process involved three months of surgeries, which ended in April. The Oscar-winning actress made the announcement in an opinion piece for today's New York Times titled my medical choice. The genetic testing is a simple blood test and the cost is covered here in Canada. About 30% of Canadian women who test positive do opt for a double mastectomy. We're going to talk with Glenn Campbell now yeah. about golf. golf. Of course. What else? I don't know about uh, Rummel's wardrobe all the time, but you know what? He's got not a bad swing and he's going to work on it for the next 10 weeks. Rummy on the ring.